Welcome to the brief presentation of phase-based linting in a lint tool. We are using standard sample design blackjack mixed or a copy of the design to be more specific and we have already run sample linting session using default policy that requires checking off all available rules. As you see, this approach has one serious disadvantage. We are bombarded with hundreds of warnings and other messages and addressing all those issues in one session can be quite tedious. That's why Alint is equipped with Flow Manager that allows implementation of phase-based linting. If you check properties of your design, go to Linting General, you will notice Flow File setting. If something is already there, it means that your design is ready uh, for the use uh, of linting flow. If your old design does not have flow yet, you can add it by going to File, New, Flow and you can create empty flow or create the one using one of many templates available. And if you create brand new design using File, New, Design, as you see, you can get flow immediately also using the template or empty flow. So that should give you a general idea how to handle flow and now let's try to use it in Blackjack Mixed Design. Let's start our linting flow session by creating new perspective based on standard document perspective. Let's just click create, type flow name, click button in the toolbar that activates flow manager and let's have a quick look at the elements. At the top of the window we see name of currently active flow and below names of all stages that belong to that flow. If we right click name of the stage we can open properties window that shows us the following elements. At the very top we've got name of the policy that will be used when this stage is executed. Right below we've got quality criterion. If we select this criterion then stage will succeed only if quality at the end is greater or equal the number specified here. Below quality criterion we've got list of rules that belong to the policy selected above. We can pick any combination of those rules as critical rules. If during execution of the stage any critical rule is violated, it automatically fails the entire stage. At the very bottom we've got checkbox that can make stage optional. If stage is selected optional, then its name is displayed in grey and passing or failing of this stage does not influence the remainder of the flow. Let's run our optional stage 1. As you see animated icon tells us that the stage is being processed. Yellow color here means that the numbers are computed. Unfortunately we've got problem. Let's investigate. Right click, select view stage results and we see the total of 16 warnings. Let's switch to rules view and let's pay special attention to the first listed rule label statements whenever it is possible. 
Let's analyze. The first file has missing label at the end of entity statement, missing label at the end of architecture statement. Let's correct. Double click, copy, paste, copy, paste, and that should be it. Save and close with the second file. We've got the same problem. Missing label at the end of entity, missing end at label at the end of architecture, but also unlabeled process statement. Let's correct. Again, copy, paste, copy, paste, and let's handle our process. Let's label it PRCNT because it's counter process. And let's remember to copy that label and paste it at the end of the process. When we save and close, that should be it. We can rerun our stage one. We are computing and this time we've got success. Our quality increased from 47 to 62% which is enough to pass. Let's see how run button in the flow manager works with non-optional stages. As you see, the icon tells us that stage 2 is progressing and unfortunately we've got some problems. As you see, quality is ok above the threshold of 70%, but we have violated 2 out of 10 critical rules. We already know how to investigate. Let's view stage results, switch to rules view, as you see critical rules that were violated are highlighted in red. Let's check the first one. The type of assignments should depend on the design style, combinatorial or sequential. Uh, let's check the files. Okay, now we see that in this always block that represents state machine, we've got blocking assignments instead of non-blocking assignments. So let's correct this issue. Let's mark the entire block. Let's go to replace. Let's replace blocking assignments surrounded by spaces with non-blocking assignments surrounded by spaces. Here we are. Let's save, close, and let's look at the second file. Very similar situation, always block, not a state machine, but still using blocking assignments while it is sequential. So let's mark, let's do global replace, and that should do it and save. Close. Okay, what about the other rule? Empty blocks should not be used in the RTL description. Let's see. Uh, oh boy, this time it would be way too difficult and time consuming to rearra rearrange the structure of this file, so let me do a little trick. Let's go to properties and let's just remove that offending rule from the list of critical rules. So now when we approve and try to rerun, hopefully the 
situation will look a little bit better as you see it is okay we've got quality up to 94 percent zero out of nine rules violated but as you see our flow progressed to the next stage and discovered some issues in stage three if we want to have a quick look at the quality of the stage results we can right click and open quality report as you see it shows you all violated rules and non-violated rules that were checked at this particular stage but we want to investigate further so we want to open complete stage results switch to rules view and as you see here's our violated rule describe one design per file okay now we see what's the source of problem we've got one file with three modules described inside how to address this issue I'm fortunately prepared so I can add existing files to the design and as you see we have three files ready here let's move them close to the original file location and remove the original file And let's see if it helped in our situation. Okay, current stage is being re-evaluated. As you see, this time it was successful. We are now checking stage 4. Let's hold our fingers. Yep, it is okay too. And finally, stage 5. As you see, we are lucky. This way, we have completed the entire flow. Thank you for your attention.